what's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to tutorial 5 sorry I need to change this thing from 4 to 5 so actually this is tutorial 5 in the last tutorial we have seen how to set bucket policy and in this tutorial we'll, we'll see how to get the policy or how to read the policy or how to uh, see what are the policy has been written for a specific bucket so same thing I'm not going to uh, like uh, take much time so these things are prerequisite and how to get S3 bucket uh, here it will be like uh, policy using Amazon uh, sorry uh, using bottle 3 Python so first thing first uh, so we have created one bucket in the last tutorial and inside the tutorial we have also created this policy by writing piece of Python code now we'll see how to read that a uh, policy okay so for that thing I need to create new Python file uh, not Python Jupyter notebook file and we'll create some cells and let's import bottle 3 this tutorial is going to very uh, like small tutorial because this is very easy actually so next thing s3 underscore resource and after that we can write bottle 3 dot uh, you see oh I haven't run this thing so that is what is not coming so client and after that we can write s3 okay then this and after that s3 underscore resource okay then uh, get 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 bucket policy okay right and inside that I can write bucket and I can write total technology okay see so if I run this thing it will give me the policy so see I got this policy so see the policy this is the version this is the ID this is a statement everything is here so you can do something let me just check whether I can get this thing by this or maybe okay so I got this thing policy if you see so in this way you can easily get a read bucket policy from uh, your for your s3 bucket using get underscore using get underscore uh, a bucket underscore policy method so if you see if I just go in or if someone is new to this bottle 3 then for them actually it will be uh, kind of difficult for visual studio code or PyCharm but here it is kind of like uh, giving you um, kind of interactive uh, like um, like interactive feature like you can just uh, debug or run this code one by one so that is why I'm just using this thing but later on you can switch this thing but if someone is already familiar or feeling comfortable it is for them it is fine just used uh, by charm so there is not much to discuss as I, as I told you guys we have seen how to set the bucket bucket policy and in this tutorial we have seen how to get the bucket policy so sometimes it is also going to be very useful if you want to read something and depending on the bucket policy you want to apply something programmatically then definitely this is your uh, method and in this way you can do this thing so the thing is that you have to understand uh, automation means nobody will ask you to go and read the bucket policy for you this is not a automation so in in the company or in the enterprise level or probably when you are going to work for some sort of client or freelancing there could be some sort of chronological job which you need to run uh, like sequentially and every uh, previous step result will be required in the next step so in that time this sort of things will be uh, like uh, um, summarized together to uh, create some sort of like fruitful business automation so that is why we need to know each and every uh, like uh, components for bottle 3 and mostly with the uh, like uh, important uh, like with respect to the important services which is very much used in uh, AWS okay so that's it guys uh, you can just uh, let me just take this thing okay and as I told you this is very small tutorial and I believe we have completed five tutorials so probably it's a good start I definitely say and I will highly recommend you guys to do some sort of practice or definitely you will forget okay so tutorial 5 is done tutorial 5 is done so let me just save this thing close this thing so one more time so this is simple thing you need to import bottle 3 and after that you have to create client and once this is done you can like get the policy using get underscore a bucket underscore policy and you have to just mention the name using this bucket equals to bucket is your attribute and you can use 
this way okay so that's it guys and don't forget to do some sort of practice and write me with your feedback if you having some doubt or need more clarification you can also write me and if you want me to cover some more use cases or maybe someone or, or maybe many of you already started working and in the in your project if you finding any difficulties where you want me to like create those tutorials by covering all of your use cases also i am happy to do this thing okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day